What's everybody? My name is BX78, aka Brand. Today we're playing some more F1 2024. We're gonna be at the Austrian Grand Prix, which is the Red Bull Ring. I'm gonna get through this race because this race has a sprint weekend, sprint qualifying, normal qualifying, and the race itself. One practice session, so we're gonna get through a lot of the practice programs in that one practice session. Um, I did well last time. I actually did pretty well. I was leading. I'm um, 157 points, or at 151. Behind, 151 to one Red Bulls, 159 behind Max for the Drivers' Championship. We're 245 to Max's 246 in the Constructors. The last race was really fun. I didn't expect to do as well as I did. Um, that was in Spain. I will say that race was odd because Max ended 20th, and I don't know what happened at the end of the race. Go back and watch that video. It's on the. It's on. I'll put it on the YouTube channel in a couple days uh, for next week. I think it's going to be on there. But that race was insane. Like, we we were le we were fighting Max to the end in, in Spain, and then he just kind of, we kind of did a, like, dive bomb. Ended up getting it, and then he just drops back to 20th, which actually kind of helped me in this case because he didn't score points. But we've been fighting back and forth ever since. Um, had a 5th, had a 10th. I won Bahrain. I DNF'd in... Monaco, because just the way Monaco is. Second place in Canada, first place in, Aust in Spain. We're going to Austria. We have Canada, Hungary, and then the Belgium Grand Prix before the winter, before the summer break, um, which is Spa. So we'll look at forward to that, see where that all heads out. Um, other than that, the car is doing pretty well. I have no real issues with anything on the car. I'm going to go ahead and switch out the gearbox, just so we don't have gearbox issues. So we'll have the table two gearbox that's gonna be pending. Everything else wear wise is actually pretty strong. Um, can't really say nothing about that. And then we have one upgrade coming in available. Hamilton's looking at that. I have really nothing I really need to buy right now. We're doing pretty well on upgrades. I could get the upgrade available. I don't have the money for it. Um, unavailable, unavailable. Unavailable, because I got that one. Um, on the chat side, some a couple small things available. And then, yeah, there's some smaller things available. I thought about getting the ECU, or we can get the, um, we can get this one. Let's just switch from those. Okay. That would come in at before Hungary, that would be good. Or we could do ECU, which would actually fuel efficiency, make the car more fuel efficient. I don't think we need fuel efficiency yet, but we could do that for later down the road. Let's, that's also coming in Hungary, or we could do, there's anything else? Nope, everything else is unavailable. Okay, and nothing on the powertrain side. The powertrain side is pretty good, but we'll see. I'll actually go ahead and do the powertrain, uh, and do, uh, this one. So, brakes, make it a little easier to break. That will come up in before Hungary, so we'll have to add Hunger, Hungary, Hungary. And then we're supposed to get another minor upgrade today. See how that goes, ultimately. Um, so we're at, so we'll get the goals real quick. Complete two sessions without damaging the car. We can do that. Or complete a race weekend without having... I can do, I can actually do this one. This one's actually not gonna be that hard. Um, then we have the material fabrication planner. Complete six laps without any penalties during, or warnings during the race weekend or perform that one. That one's super easy. Complete. Okay, any session we'll do flashback. There we go. That's actually kind of easy. I messed that up last time. Practice. Perfect a the race program or perfect a practice program to the race. I can perfect this one because around Red Bull, that's not the Red Bull Ring or Austrian Grand Prix is not that hard. Um, so we're gonna do those. Everybody's at level one except for him and her. I think that's the other guy. So we're gonna get them. If we get him to level one, that'd be kind of good. Other than that, we'll look at messages. We're going to Red Bull. I have a new rival in uh, a, a Lance Stroll, which I'm beating. Rivalries right now. I don't really have much else in accolades. I'm doing pretty well. So I have, I need 
three more podiums, three more top five qualifiers, two more top ten finishes, uh, three more podium finishes, and then points I'm going to take a bit together. It's going to be season two, basically. And then rivalries, I have, I'm beating my teammate pretty well. I, but I beat uh, Charles Leclerc, and then I'm pretty much probably going to win against Lance Stroll. That's actually going to be good for me. But let's get into the race weekend. So let's see about this upgrade. Right, I'm afraid to say okay. that we've had a major issue on the production line earlier this week, and the entire development package for the weekend has failed. Any redevelopments will need to be ordered from the R&D screen. And I will do that later because it's not really a reason to do it now. So let's get over. Let's get ready for the race weekend. So we're at the Australian Austrian Grand Prix, which is the Red Bull Ring. Oh, rainy qualified. Okay. Rainy practice. Okay. Um, so it's a rainy practice, but the rest of the weekend is going to be dry. Okay. So that's not going to be too much of an issue. So which what I will do then, if that's the case, I'm going to set the car up to... I'm going to set the car up for dry practice, dry qualifying, not threat qualifying. Go practice and go to track. And the tire management one won't really matter because if I can do the wet tires Hello anyway. Hello and welcome along oh. to the Red Bull Ring. It's practice time here in Austria, and the hills are about to become alive with the sound of Formula One engines. Yeah. Okay. So this is not gonna be pretty. We'll see. All right. Uh, let's see what I'll do first. Wets, wets, wets. Okay, so pretty much is guaranteed me wets. I'm not going to use my wets. I told you about the that have come in from the factory, right? Well, they're all fitted and good to go. I hope they do the trick. Let's do tire management first. Do that on wets, and then we'll come back. Do fuel management, and then race strategy. Race strategy, I'll do the last. I'll probably put a new set of wets on, because at this point, I won't, I'll have everything ready for that. Uh, and we're going to fly out for this. I won't mess the car up with that. <clears throat> this test is all about tyre management. Try to control the slip through each corner and take extra care putting the power down at the apex. Not too bad wet wise, it just feels feel like a trip, so oh, well. Up, oh, going up the hill. And see the dry qualifying is gonna be really interesting because you don't want to have a car set up that's overly wet or overly wet, because it's only supposed to be this one day. So it's like you just wanna kind of set up a dry, have this ready for this, and then do this. Oh, well, doing well. Two and a half seconds. Save the battery. Or save the. A little slippery corner, but not too okay, terrible. Test complete, and that was a really good job indeed. We got a lot of valuable wow. information out of that. Well done. <laughs> Did that in one shot. Usually don't do that in one shot, but rain probably helped him out. Not that bad in the rain driving. I'm gonna drive into the pits this time. <clears throat> right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. And we'll 
I'll do next time's program. I won't change the tires because I'll I'll keep the set for this next practice program. I'll change it to the last one. The last one's gonna be a lot more stuff. I would have got the thing for just completing that practice program on perfect, but fair enough for me. I didn't have to do much. Go into the pits. So it's me and Yuki Sonoda. It's the only ones on track right now, which is actually not bad. So this is where you want to get everything worked out pretty well, strong. Um, trying to... Okay, there's the pit lane. Grab me here. You want that valuable data, even though it's probably not going to be the greatest thing, you still won't want it just to see what's there, out there. Um, push this in. In. Alright, well, let me look at the data. Oh, not actually that bad. Full wet lap time was 120. Oh, 120 zero. Expected lap time 122.8. 32 laps expected on tire life, or actual tire life 32 laps. Expected tire life 24 laps, tire wear 2.7. Not bad. Expected wear 2.97. Uh, all right, let's go into the next practice program. And I can't activate DRS because DRS would not be enabled for this, so it doesn't really help. There. Um, everything else I did, though. Let's do a fuel management. Like I said, keep the same set of tires for this, because I only need two laps on them. Um, I'll fly out again. Yep. Fly out again, do fuel management, and then I'll come back in, do... Um, maybe change out the tires if I need to, but... Testing fuel management here, so try to lift and coast going into the corners. Don't be too aggressive on the power, but remember, you still have to beat the minimum lap time. Rain's getting lighter now, but it's going to take a while for the track to dry out. Well, yeah, the track won't dry out by the time I finish this, so if it does, I'll be strong. that slow, but I also don't want to overdo it. Okay, so I can build up a gap.
I've heard a few people out, but not as. Yep, that's Wow, this is hard. This one's hard, so you can't really like I was basically not having any race driving will be the one I can do very well, but Program complete. Program complete. These results will do, although you could definitely do better. Right, can I head over back to... Um, Consider garage. giving it another shot. I'll do race pace now, because race pace is going to be the interesting one. Let's see. So, I did okay, too. But that's a hard one, because you need... You literally need the probably drag track to make that make sense. Oh, do I still have enough money? What? Oh, yeah, I don't need it. I don't need to do it anymore. Okay. I can use the wets for this. Is it what? Yes, the wets. Okay. Um. This, and then we'll help. This will be the last practice program, and then we'll get into qualifying. Because qualifying happens right after the race. Uh, this is just race strategy. Okay, we need a few solid laps here to help us calculate a good race strategy. Five people on track. There is one on the but thanks for that. Alright, let's see how these five solid laps go. I'm not really worried about uh, anything really delta wise. I'm kind of like. No DRS zone, so we can't really do anything about that. Really else. I came on intermediates. Okay. Oh, well. I think it's pretty much still full wet. <laughs> 
I can just waste the webs because I'm not gonna. If I need the intermediate, I can use them for a race. I have a bunch of soft left though. If I can run soft during the free. on this rain clearing up is about 10 minutes so just keep your concentration out there you're doing well yep there we go 21 there's a target lap time so it's not like i'm doing the fastest but i'm doing what i should be doing Yeah, I don't think the rain's lit, lighting up, it actually looks like it's getting heavier, but that's just me. This gives me more just <clears throat> race strategy stuff, so actually completing these all these laps actually is a good thing. It's just for a lap, it's like a minute seventeen. Normally with the dry condition this would be like a less than a, about a minute, minute three. So actually not doing bad. And you know, probably get to 90 by the time I finish this, which is actually really good. It actually, just gives you more data. This city will be kind of off because of the wet running, but you can use it to your advantage. I'm second behind Piaski for lap time, pretty much. I think of Piaski than myself, so. And if you're doing all your, like, practice programs and this one session, you're getting a lot of that data. Job well done. There we go. Some excellent data with that run. So come on back to the garage. And we are gonna come back to the garage, look at the data, and then 
we pre we perfect that practice program so that actually helped us for later. Um, so full wets one eighteen fifty or one eighteen five. What's the average lap time? Tire wear one point four two. Expected tire wear. 1.44, um, or f actually tire wear 1.42, expected fuel was 1.44, average fuel burn 1.48, so race fuel 36.97 kilos. Okay, not bad. Um, four out of five, two out of five, four out of five. That one was hard because you needed, you probably needed DRS and a couple other things to help you with that. Um, let's go on to the next session and we will get to the qualifying. And that's it. Practice is officially over. Yeah, my now. Bye. Goodbye. So if I was on full, in, in, if I was on intros, I'd probably be fastest in the session. Where did Oz? Where did? Oh, Lewis was 16th. 120. Okay. But he's still on what like I was, so it really didn't matter. He was on full intros. I'd probably be doing. He'd probably be doing about the same. Now we're going to sprint qualifying. I think 250. Good. 69%. Everything else, pretty much the same. I'm going to say I'm going to balance it up for this just to see if it make a difference. If it doesn't, we're good. We'll see what happens. One shot sprint qualifying. <laughs> And this we're on a basically we're on a dry track now. That's why I didn't change the setup. I would have gone more heavy down. High up in the mountains here at Spielberg, it's time for qualifying on what will be the fastest laps of the season. Stand by for qualifying at the Austrian Grand Prix. Yep, I have a lot of softs. I have like six softs, which I need to use, so that can kind of help me. And yeah, now with this check drying, it's actually pretty fast. So pretty quickly, I'm not even having any trouble. This one's a little bit tricky because I'm both lighter. But this is a good way to begin to get some points so I can really get into for staff and speed, but also just also get into the constructor if we can take over the constructor speed too and get some good points. So we'll just see how this goes. Around the final corner. Have nobody catch me. Actually a first. Yep, first. First time doing that. There we go. So that was a Maxwell behind me. Two oh wow, point two five one. He was not far behind, but he wasn't even close. He didn't even come near. Lando's behind me there after that, and then Falando Lando Norris, Fernando Alonso, and then my teammate. That's not bad. Okay. We'll go there. This is just race pace, I think. My race pace is actually pretty good. 81. Focus is pretty good. Everything's pretty well overall. So, um, we'll see how this race goes. It's only eight laps, so. Win that, get eight points. Be taking a little bit of a lead. Eight lap sprint. The actual race is 25 laps.
and maybe we can get an early jump on that and then just kind of coast not coast but have the ability to kind of take my time um in the, in the end we'll see how this goes though i mean ultimately that lap you could see was like a one 18, forget pit like stops forget fuel management it's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint Seven degrees overcast. The Spielberg circuit then is situated 700 meters above sea level, with just 10 corners making up one of the shortest laps of the season. One time around here is a distance of around 2.6 miles, with the best overtaking chances into turn one or the tight uphill of turn three. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. The Black Mamba lines up on pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Fernando Alonso. Oh, they must Hamilton, not put the time for sprint, Leclerc, which actually makes sense. Sainz, Perez, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Albon, Gasly, Sonoda, Ocon, Ricardo, Magnussen, Holkenberg, Bottas, Joe. And Logan Sargent. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. And alongside me today, a man who I'm always pleased to see join me in the commentary box, Anthony Davidson. Well, they say that the change is as... Yeah. Oh, we're using mediums. Okay. That's actually not a bad thing. Use the mediums. We have them. I haven't used them yet, so use them. That's fair. If you want to save the soft. I think everybody's going to be going on mediums pretty much for this because you need the soft for the ball. Formation lap gets underway ahead of today's sprint. It's going to be interesting to see who gets pole position. Almost ready to start the sprint as the cars take their positions on the grid, with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. It's just short to run up to the first turn. It's not that long. If I rolls in, to go. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the internal combustion engine. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. Oh, I changed the I changed the gearbox, but I can change the ICU after. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Be on my tail pretty much.
the battery. Fernando Alonso has got the, the fastest lap of the race. Wow. All right, not gonna overdo it. Save the battery. Off, but that's actually a good thing. Ooh, yeah, he left me the room. I'm surprised. Yeah. There's some battery there. Up six. And for staff. I don't deploy it there because like, I don't really need to. Watch out for understeer in the wake of the car ahead. Try to get past as quickly as you can. Push, push.
we're four wide going. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Okay. Take that. Change that corner. Wow, that was close. We're four wide on that thing. Okay, mate, this is the final lap of the race. Final lap. Okay. Max can't get by me. Using a little bit of battery going up the hill, but they're not using as much, I don't think. Taps a little bit. Hamilton. Oh, wow. Okay. They're having a little squabble back and forth. But it will help us because Paris is nowhere near the top 10. That's my goal. It'll be good points regardless. We'll get seven points out of it. Not bad. Job, mate. Top job. Yes. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but man, you pulled through. Thank you. Well done. So with the sprint concluded, join us next time for qualifying. And of course, the main event, this weekend's Formula One Grand Prix. We'll see you next time. I'm down by 29 points. That's not bad. <clears throat> Constructors, we take the lead by three. So actually, that's going to be helpful for us. Um, continue. See what we're doing. Now we're doing normal qualifying for the actual race. Experience. High up in the mountains here at Spielberg, it's time for qualifying on what will be the fastest laps of the season. Stand by for... All right. And now, basically, we're good. We're gonna be pitting in this next race, so we probably have to undercut and do all that. A 16 7. Wow. That's a, pretty, that's a really good lap, then. Well, it's my teammate behind me, which is actually pretty good, if that's the case. This racetrack's actually really fun. I think this one's really fun to drive. 
46. Getting uh, to the last sector. Get a good exit. Touch there, get a good exit. Come around the final corner and look across the line. Alright, fifth again, so that's good. So we're back in the same place. Let's go to the actual race. I think it's gonna be medium to hard, I think. Race, but we'll see. Medium to hard or hard to medium. Just depending on how much you wanna. Right, the 25 map race. We'll see how this goes. Hope not surprising if it do if it goes well. Because I I did do in that first race. I have to use my battery better because my battery is the only thing I kind of mess up on. And once I use it correctly, it's really going to help me get the turn in for a lot of that stuff, so. There we go. Welcome from the beautiful Styrian Mountains for another chapter in the story of the Austrian Grand Prix. All right. Let's run you through. through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. And alongside me here today in the commentary same. box, Anthony Davidson. I know what we've got to do before the start of today's race. Yeah. So medium to hard, yeah. So medium to hard strategy, one stop, and then yeah. We have 28 laps of fuel, which will be good. Um, yeah, let's go. Here we go then. The formation lap. lap gets underway and the excitement here we'll is building there. as we near ever closer yeah, to everybody's the start on of the race. Your Which team will come out on top? This. Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out. As the cars come back towards the grid to line up for the start of the race, each driver will be wanting to get the best start they possibly can. And they'll be hoping to finish today's race on the podium Failing that within the points. Out the other component next week. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the internal combustion engine. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. I've got a good jump. No DRS right now, but we'll get it in a minute. Come 
on this lap. Okay, DRS is now available. Actually, this looks one thing it's doing is saving my uh, saving my battery. So it's only actually going to really be helping me. We'll have to use a lot of batteries to keep up. Can. Oh, the MGG does 60. Okay. So I can actually try and get this next, this last, or this next race. Alright. Alright. Lap three. That wasn't a collision. We're not causing a collision. Come and drop back to Norris, which is not too bad. Seven for times I take six point six seven, so good bit half a second off. Manage my race, I'm doing some too crazy. Behind 2.2 seconds. Five seconds. There we go. I'm not running away with this, but I'm keeping them at bay.
Okay, battery. Really break the battery here. Except that we have our pit window, so we really just need to pay. Lap 8, we need four laps from our pit window. Kind of pulling on these tires to see what we can do the end. The hard tires last longer, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to have to have a good end up and out left anyway. Bring a little bit of battery back just in case. I need to fight. 4.7, not 4.17, not too bad. Eight laps. Lap left eight. I'll give him the room because he wanted it. Not gonna do anything about it. But I'm gonna cut him off at the corner. Get back in front. One point four. Interesting. Because I'm literally on my tail. He's catching up a little bit, but he's not like gaining, gaining. He can't get past. Beautiful defending, I will say. So, uh, I think I'm going to run out of battery up here, but I'm not going to. I'll let him pass me. Let him pass. Come on, you can win that place back. Boris was pretty close, so I was like, I just had to let him pass. Now that you're in the wake of the car ahead, try to get past as soon as possible. Alright. One thing good thing about this is I can see a little bit of battery. Battery. We're the pit Hold up north. Now, and you're going to be on hards next time. Hold up north a little bit so you can go help and catch up. Okay, mate, it's Verstappen ahead. We can't let them hold us up for too long, so let's try and get past as soon as possible and crack on. Push, push. All right, we'll have to do that. Not too bad. Half distance, half. Alright, 
Alright. But actually, good. I'm catching up a little bit. But about that. I closed that gap a little bit, so. Okay. So, about 40% battery. The north fell back a little bit. Close, close, close. There's a lot of battery for the back straight. It's actually good. Now we're boxing this lap. Get boxed. Okay, can't block the Great outside. Stuff, get me inside. The well there. Nice one. There's a long way to go in this race, though, so keep your head down. I'd have run deep for that, but I did. Make it. Open. We're going into pit to this lap. We're going to see what we can do to make a good out lap. We're in lap. We're going to have a really good out lap. Make a little bit of a gap because we double stack, it's going to be a little bit easier because I can Remember, a little bit box of this lap. Keep an eye on your distance to the speed limit line as you approach and make sure you don't speed. Him, it's not in. Okay. Fair. Okay, off we go. Back into the race. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. Not bad. I'd wait for the Ferrari, which is fine. So I'm going to put that ahead of me a little bit. We're about to come up on the on track. Last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Ooh, no risk. Lost out. This is effective for the race lead. Let's we'll see how that goes. Okay, Lewis is in for his stop. Messed up there, I messed up. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. This is for us for the race lead. Tire condition still looking good.
a lot of battery now. 50%. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. One ten. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice move. Keep going. Right, ten lap left. Lap of the race. Keep this up. Well done. Man, I'm getting faster. 3 also basically take you take the lead over in the constructor fully you want to do one behind okay so and all of our tire pressure data is currently reading zero assuming they still look inflated to you we're going to guess that it's just a bad sensor shouldn't be anything to worry about second time i've gotten that message last year last race i got that message it usually doesn't mean much because it's not like i'm going too fast or something but well, we're stopping out of the session. That's actually kind of surprising. Okay, so no we're leading our teammate safety. by 1.8 seconds. I can hold off. I can slow down a little bit. Not like too much, but I can slow down a little bit. But we must have had a problem. Oh. Yellow flag. I don't see Verstappen's car. Oh, there it is. Front of the pack, Norris is behind you. Less than a second separates you. Okay, they're on fresh hards. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. And that's eight laps to go. I thought I was gonna ask me, I was gonna decide I was gonna explain what happened with what's happened, but I did it. No worries. Uh, but ultimately I can't complain because you're gonna take this pretty easily. Part of the 
Please if I just outbreak break Norris, like, that's gonna be something he can fight me, but I have the... Uh, I got DRS. Did I get DRS? Oh, because the detection point, I was behind. Okay. Does that kind of help? Get ahead. I'm not backing him up. I'm not backing him up. He's being so back of me. I'm, holding, I'm being defensive. Right? Six left. What? I'm taking out the MGC. That race. That my one plan. Also, might need to change out the couple of coming. Get a couple of them out. I can. Okay, well. Let's go. Job on hitting that target, mate. Nice work. Still a long way to go, though. All right, did two little target things: passing for Staffan and getting a little better lap time. Got 44 percent of battery. Doing pretty well there. My battery is actually not that bad because I leave it on auto and let it do its thing. Unless I'm going to use some certain tracks, I think I used it once in the track. It actually was really helpful because it made that speed faster, but like nothing insane. Hamlin's covered off Alonso. I am. Trying to keep the worst at bay, but pass. Tight, and I got passed, okay. I kind of don't like the table hook. Down. Going. Three laps left.
one point two to north, like that, like that. I'm gonna stay within DRS outside of the DRS range. So he cannot get DRS. Do that, he won't have a problem. And staffing out, that gives us a pretty good cushion for me. Gap to your teammate behind, 1.9 seconds. Oh. I have, enough, I have a lot of that right now, so if I really had to fight, I could, but I'm taking it slow, not really messing with the car or anything. Still doing pretty good okay, lap time. Mate, final lap. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home. Yes, 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 guys, yes! Come on, boys! First place. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friend. Well done. Back in the sprint first in the actual Grand Prix. Really good driving. That's it then for another spectacular Grand Prix here in Austria. And a truly magnificent drive to hang on and take the win. A great display of dominance today, Crofty, by this driver. They led from lights out to the flag at the end, led every lap of the race. Brilliant stuff by them, and uh, excited to see what more they can do in future races. Well, Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So Norris got second, I got first, and Hamilton got third. That will give us the points in the constructors and also basically give me i cut in that lead i cut into that lead a little bit i have to see the whole like table or the standings for that but i kind of lead by at least half a little less than half And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport action. Yeah, but so with more races to lined up, be sure to join us Norris when we come back with more Formula One. Point one. Let's look at where because we're staffing had okay. So he only gets eight points and he DNF that race, so that's not really matter. We look at the two full standings. I am now three points from Verstappen for the drivers championship, which is actually not bad. That's actually really good. I gained a lot there. Um, and then we are leading the constructors by 40. Basically, he wouldn't need pairs of scoring points, but he should be higher. He's only at one, he's only at 72 points. He should be higher to help them out. But you have like Aston Martin, 
doing well. Both Ferraris are in the top five, six. Oscar Piastri is behind in the top six, top ten with Lando Norris. My teammates in the top ten. Stroll is actually in the temp, so that's helping Alonso. If you look at the constructors, it's actually that's partially why I think I could see, I could see Ferrari catching Red Bull and they go to third. Um, maybe not McLaren, but that would be interesting to see. Aston Martin's right behind, you know, right there as well. So, um, yeah, let's see what all points wise how everything went out. Okay, gain a little bit there, gain a little bit there. I'm wearing this, I went up, yeah. Pace I went up, yep. And focus I went up, yep. Almost at 80, perfect. I'm at 40%. Okay, 40% and two sometimes upgrades. R&D rushing's at 45, so if I get to 50 50 split, the second took an upgrade. Okay, all right. All right, I would be really interested to see how I could do. Okay. Plus. Plus. Okay. Okay. Ooh, almost with the other one. Next week is going to be the British Grand Prix. If I look at, um, no, where is it at? No, driver stuff. Accolades, I finished in the top 10, so I need one more of those. That will finish out that. Top quad qualifying, I just need two more of those. I think, I don't think sprint qualifying counts. I think sprint qualifying did count in that case, so that's why I got two there. Um, podium finishes, I need one more. So if I, I can do that next week, basically get both of those done, they'll be done with accolades. And then race starts, I'll have all race starts this year, and that's going to be just one less for next year when I start that. Um, rivalries, I'm basically going to be beating. The rivalry will track your overall rating versus your rivals. You'll need to be ahead by a certain amount to be declared the winner. Okay, so I need to Here, beat him by two points. you can see the gap needed to win, as well as the rewards that will be given. Okay. So I'm basically almost there with the rivalry stroll. I just need to get a little more in there. Hamilton, I'm pretty much doing Each well. I will use different metrics to determine who will win. The teammate rivalry uses various metrics displayed here, and whoever leads most of these will be classed as leading the rivalry. The bottom of this screen will show you what rewards are available and when you'll get them. So basically, I have 184 points to Hamilton's 115. I have eight qualifying results to handle three, seven podium finishes two, highest qualifying position first, highest qualifying position, best finish first, third for both of those for Hamilton, eight race results, eight to three. Okay, so yeah, we're doing pretty well. We'll see what new championship rival I'll get. I don't know who I will get there, but we'll see. But that will, I'll end the stream right here. I do thank you for watching. Hope you did enjoy. We will be back with more of this probably in the next next week sometime. But as of Saturday, we're going to be going back into some Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6. And then we'll be going back into um, uh, more Tomb Raider. That will be part 4 of Tomb Raider. We'll be the finale of that so for that Tomb Raider. We'll finish that out and then look forward to that. But I did put up this morning the... Anime Dojo episode 66 with Dion and Chris. That is up there now. I do like all, thank you all for all the support at the last episode. Almost 140 some people watched it, which is actually really good. Um, a lot of the episodes, some of the episodes, we've had a lot of views and based on what we're talking about, kind of spreading around the news topics and things. Um, but I, I do thank you for watching. Hope you did enjoy and hope you for next time. See you.